everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim, if you are new here, and today I have my final Sam's Club grocery haul for 2023. So I have been doing some little Sam's Club hauls, um, and if you have been watching, the last one I did, I was talking about how we have a Plus membership and the Sam's Club credit card. And with that, we use, it's, we use it for gas and our Sam's Club purchases. That's pretty much all we use that card for. The reason we have the credit card is because we get 5% back on gas. By the way, this is not sponsored. I am just sharing it with you. <laughs> um, and 3% back on our um, Sam's Club purchases. Now, with the money that we get back, I like to use it to pay the membership. So I don't have to pay for the plus membership except for the one time. And then every year I just use the Sam's Club cash to um, pay for the membership. And then whatever is left, I get to, um, I like to save it for the end of the year and do a massive grocery shop. Lots of times I like to use it to buy seasonal items, but this year I am just using it to kind of stock my pantry a little bit and buy like some Christmas and New Year's food, like holiday foods, you know, that we don't normally get. Um, and I'll show you what those are. But yeah, let me show you what I got and we will talk money at the end. Let's start over here. Um, I had to use chairs a lot more today because of all of the stuff. Um, but yeah. So I got Parmesan cheese for the pantry. I have a big container of sour cream for baking or I mean, we use it for a lot of other stuff too. Heavy cream, I use a lot of heavy cream around the holidays. Some goldfish and some garbage bags. Now this is a 200 count of tall garbage bags that we use really just in our kitchen. And one of these boxes will last me for almost the whole year. So I get about these once a year. <laughs> back here. I don't get disinfectant wipes often. I don't use them that often. I use them to clean toilets. So um, pretty much about once a year. I mean, I guess, yeah, about once a year I buy them from Sam's and if I need more, I'll get them from Aldi. But yeah, we were running out and I like to, I, I don't love that we use them, but toilets. <laughs> okay, over here I have a few non-food items. I'm going to bring them a little closer. So these I got, it's a three pack of women's nice fluffy socks and it was, I think $9. And the reason I got these, these will go in my stocking. Now my husband is wonderful and he does buy me Christmas gifts. I don't have to buy my own, but, um, he does tend to forget about stockings and that is totally fine. I don't need things in my stockings, but when the kids get stuff and I'll put a couple things in my husband's stocking, then, um, people feel bad if mom doesn't have anything in her stocking. So I'll throw this in and then probably some gum or something. And then mom gets something in her stocking and no one feels bad. Again, I don't feel bad, but the kids would be like, why doesn't mom have anything in her stocking? These were on sale, um, $2 off. And so it's a three pack of leggings. I got two, three packs of leggings for my oldest daughter. Um, they really, at our Sam's Club, they only had the 14, 16 size. Everything else um, smaller was picked through. Um, but these ended up being $8 for a three pack. So I did get two of them. Um, and I might see online if they have any of the smaller sizes with the plus membership, they will ship things to you for free. And then here I have white vinegar. We use this for cleaning and laundry. Three bags of the on the border tortilla chips. They're one of my favorite tortilla chips. Um, and it's a pretty good price, about $5 for a big bag like this. And I plan on having some guacamole um, sometime over the holiday season. A big bag of flour. Um, it came a little, a little bit ripped. Let's see, over here, let's do this. I got two 25 pound bags of jasmine rice. This is my favorite rice. I had never had it before like a year or two ago. And then once I tried it, it's just very aromatic and tastes amazing. So if you like rice and you're fine with white rice, jasmine rice is, is great. Okay, 
we'll slide down here. This, the chicken breast tenders, if you've watched um, my videos before, my Sam's Club hauls before, you'll know that these are for my son's school lunches. It is what he prefers to take. We put some in the air fryer and then he takes some carrots and um, a smoothie or a shake or something. And that's his school lunch. Um, I got these because yes, we're going into the holiday break, but I don't want to have to go to Sam's Club in January, so these will be for January's school lunches. Okay, let's see down here, I got mozzarella cheese and this Mexican style cheese. We use this for pizza and lasagna, and this for quesadillas, tacos, things like that. I will put these in the freezer, and we will use them when we need them, but they freeze really, really well. We like to grind our own pepper, so I um, got another thing of whole peppercorns. Don't like to run out of peanut butter, and I love the Worcestershire sauce. It's great. We use it for a lot of stuff, so. We got some of these chicken bites. They're really delicious, um, and that'll just be for a quick lunch one day. I haven't decided when. They had a $2 off the full price of the chicken breast, and I was gonna get some anyway, but it was just a nice added bonus. I really like their um, <clears throat> whole chickens, and so I always try to pick up a two pack of their whole chickens. It takes us, we use about two whole chickens for one roasted chicken meal, and then I um, make broth from the remaining bones and stuff. So I like getting this because you can use a lot of the parts for it. This was $2 off. And I don't have a for sure plan for this, but I like having shrimp in the freezer for a quick meal sometimes. Okay, we'll go back here. Well, we'll go right here. We have bath tissue, paper towels. Um, yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. We got some pizza rolls, some corn dogs, some mozzarella sticks, and some taquitos. These are foods that you do not see often in my grocery hauls, but, it is the holiday season and Christmas Eve we tend to do a bunch of little snacky food and hors d'oeuvres. We don't, we will not eat all of everything here, but it's a really good price um, compared to getting these items somewhere else, even say Walmart, you get a smaller amount, but the price difference isn't that much. So we'll buy them, keep them in the freezer, and if we need a quick lunch or something um, after the holidays, that's what we'll use them for my favorite tomato sauce. So I got a package of this. I like to keep a couple pizzas on hand um, in the freezer. Again, sometimes things come up and it's nice to have some backup plans. My husband prefers this kind of string cheese to the Walmart kind and I didn't realize that. So while we still have some string cheese from Walmart in the fridge, the kids can eat that and he can have this. Let's see. Okay, we got mushrooms. I'm planning on doing some stuffed mushrooms for Christmas Eve. So one of them will be for that and then one I like to have in case we do stroganoff or something like some other meal that needs mushrooms or even pizza. We put mushrooms on our pizza. I like these little um, creamer potatoes. They're good for roasting. Um, and my dad said I should use them to make um, smashed potatoes, you know, kind of where you I, I don't know exactly, but pretty much you cook them a little bit, then you smash them and um, flat, and they get kind of crispy and delicious. So we might try that as well. Cauliflower. These are big, beautiful heads of cauliflower. We like to do um, some bacon cauliflower or roasted cauliflower for side dishes. Garlic. Lemons. It's a really good price for lemons. It's just a little over $3 for three pounds of lemons, and they look pretty good. And then I like to keep this um, quick steak in the freezer because it makes a really delicious um, steak sandwich. <laughs> I forgot to unpack the bacon. Anyway, I like this bacon. It's a really nice, um, it's a really nice bacon, and it was a decent price. I think it was fourteen dollars for three pounds. So it's not the best, but it's not the worst. Organic baby carrots. They don't have my organic whole carrots at Sam's Club anymore, and I'm really sad about that. But um, but the kids have been really liking the baby carrots anyway, so it's a really good price. It's three pounds, and it is a little over three dollars a pound for the bag of organic baby carrots. A couple heads of lettuce, 
and then some romaine hearts, two two pound bags of Brussels sprouts, five bags of frozen strawberries here. The kids go through this like crazy with smoothies and then they'll just eat it for snacks as well. I like to have the minced garlic on hand. Sometimes you just want to throw in a little bit of fresh-ish garlic. <laughs> as opposed to garlic powder and you don't want to chop the garlic. So I like, this is just a nice little um, convenience for me. Down here I got brown sugar and white sugar just because we are going through it with Christmas baking and I wanted to make sure we didn't run out. Okay, almost done. I have two um, three liter containers of olive oil. I have heard, I heard a few months ago that olive oil was gonna go up in price and I have noticed that it has, each one now is almost $23 and it used to be significantly cheaper. So um, I just wanted to have some on hand and that should last us a good long while. I don't normally buy canola oil. Canola oil I really only use for um, when we do, when we fry things at home. So, uh, this two pack, which is all this is the only way they sell it at Sam's Club, will last me the whole year, if not a little bit longer. Then our carbonated water, and then last but not least, I have six um, 18 packs of these pasture raised brown eggs. This should last us through January, but I am not 100% sure. We go through a lot of eggs. We made breakfast sandwiches yesterday and um, we went through a dozen eggs. So hopefully <laughs> this will last us a while, but we will be making more hot breakfast with um, the holiday break. And so we will just see. Okay, so that is my Sam's Club grocery haul for um, December of 2023. It is my last one of the year and it is a doozy. I got a lot more stuff and I got, um, a lot more, uh, I guess, junk food, you would say, but I did get a good bit of produce and other things, some pantry items. So the cost for this is <laughs> so much. So the total cost for everything was $787.47, but I had $303 of Sam's cash left. So I just spent like, what, $444 or so um, on this, which is, I've been trying to spend less, but I've been, I've known that this is coming up. So um, back at the beginning of the year, my typical Sam's Club budget was between four and $500, and this works for that. So it's not um, a lot more than what I had been budgeting at the, towards the beginning of the year, and we got all of this stuff. So um, I am very thankful that I had saved my Sam's Club cash and was able to get all of this stuff for not and to not break the bank doing it. So I also wanted to mention that I am planning on doing um, a no spend January and then a low spend spring. So I am going to kind of change up my grocery hauls a little bit. I might just show a grocery haul video once a month and that'll be all my little grocery hauls. Um, and I will talk more about my budget and my plan for that probably next week. So lots of these um, snacky items also we will be having for Christmas Eve. Um, and then sprinkled in throughout the holiday. I will be showing you this video after Christmas. I hope that you have a wonderful or had a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year and I will um, see you on the next one. Bye.